what my mum used to call a mucky herbert around because look at this someone's come out for a walk or a run and they've dumped their water bottle not good look after the environment keep it nice and clean but yeah apart from the the distant sound of traffic it's relatively peaceful around here I can take you outside of the woods there's another path that is into a less wooded area there you are it's all sort of lighter trees around here hi George And I may well head back to my bike now, which if I've not entirely... Hi, Alwyn. If I've not entirely lost my bearings, is back this way. Got plenty of data, so I might as well take you with me. I hope everyone's managing to get out of their homes at least once a week like I am for some exercise. Yeah, this week I've been doing the gogs and this uh, Beechwood Nature Reserve. Next week, oh, a really long one. This this one is a it's about a five mile bike ride from home and a five mile bike ride back. Next week I'm going to get really ambitious because it's been about a year or two since I've cycled all the way to St Ives, which is 12 miles away. And I've not done it since because it's very tiring and it took over a week for me to fully recover from that. Hello Ian. Welcome to the edge of the Beechwood Nature Reserve just to the south of Cambridge. So yeah, next week's bike ride, plan to head up to the uh, cycleway next to the Cambridgeshire Guided Busway and go all the way to St Ives, which will be very tiring Seeing as I don't seem to be back at work till the summer, I'll have time to recover from it this time. You can see where they've been doing a bit of management of the trees here. And it's usefully flat here on the edge of the wood. In the wood itself, it's a bit sort of up and down. But this bit's been sort of flattened out so they can bring vehicles down here. This is what's so great about Cambridge. It's sort of the best and the worst thing about Cambridge. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere once you get outside the city centre. And we're not sort of near any other towns. You have to go about, I think it's 10, 15 miles away to get to Ely, for example. But what this does mean is we have this lovely bubble of countryside outside Cambridge. So I could cycle for less than half an hour and be in the middle of nowhere really which is great for the moment hello Jeff hello Kevin on a bit of a countryside walk today well walk walk at the moment cycled out here this is the Beechwood Nature Reserve to the south of Cambridge. Earlier I was on Limekiln Hill, which is part of the uh, 
Gog Magog Hill was on the edge of town, which overlooks Cambridge, and from up there you can see Anbrook's Hospital, you can see all the way into town. Although you're so far out of town that a fair bit of it is sort of lost in the mist. Looks like this fence could do with some work, really. It's starting to tumble into the path. Now, I doubt I'll find it today, but there is a photograph of it tucked away on my flicker, which I'll have to post later. There's carved into one of these trees the uh, face of an old man with a long beard. I have no idea who did it or when they did it, but it's an amazing piece of sort of tucked away artwork. single track which is interesting because up until this point you could drive a vehicle down here but now it's definitely on very single track I brought all my lenses with me today anyway. Been able to take some shots from the top of the hill earlier on my 400mm lens. Now, where is this going to lead? Hopefully, not to a total dead end. Oh, I've got a sign to show you. bit of a dead end that way so I'm going to have to head back into the five hectare wood planted in 1992 so nowhere near as old as the previous nature reserve I was in
One of the odder things about this nature reserve is there's a sign right at the entrance way to the left here saying no cycling, no motorbikes. And they put a bike stand in here, which is practically encouraging people. There were trees here as far back as the great storm in 86 then, because this did suffer. Yeah, the original wood has been here since 1840. There you go. Ah, we're almost back to my bike where I'll end this. There you go, it's reasonably quiet up here, but a few people have parked up and come for a walk. Well, bye for now.